Rise and shine and what a beautiful day to be alive, especially if you're soon into the most expressive, elaborative and educative show. Tea time while still being entertained by myself and of course my old lovely squad, the girl on fire, Ife Omai, and the lady who tells you for free or less like Black Friday. Any baby, what's good? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> this girl is it's on fire. fire. Yeah, how you guys? We started the show with me singing. I don't know why that happened, but it happened. My <laughs> apologies. It's all right. It's he all is ready right. for Friday. Very That's ready. Right. Very as long as it jumps. If you want to make a ginger, you give me coca. Hey. My girl, Jebby. Okay. So much fun. So much fun. Oh, no, no. Can, no, you, do, no, can no. you just do it on television? <laughs> Embarrass <laughs> yourself. The if you want to make a ginger. <laughs> Hey, oh receipt. You give me that receipt. The internet, the, the like, internet the never forgets. Receipt, receipt. She, 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 she won. She won. She's won. very proud. She She's very proud. All mm. right, guys. What's what's been up? How was your night, man? Oh, hmm. It's great. You look great. cheerful. Hmm. I don't know why I'm cheerful. Though. I had a very horrible night yesterday. Why? What happened? Ah, you went mm. out. No, I didn't. I was just bus busing. Up With and who? Down. With too many people. Your it was a dramatic thing. night. Huh? Your group thing or friends over or what? Like I don't. If I start the story. Eh, we will not do any other show today. Is the face called Baz? No, 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 no. no just when like I say physical, heavy... did you see them? Were you looking at the people you have in the Baz? No, I think, you know, one of the things where there's different personalities really clash, a lot heavy misunderstanding, okay. and everybody feels entitled to their own um, stance, and you can't really find a middle ground. Oh um, I think it was just really painful to watch as well and to participate in as well. And I don't know, it was just really heated, and it did not get solved. Usually, that, that kind of thing would get but to have me. have you but found a solution personally? Maybe the other people don't understand, but you, do you know the solution to the problem? No, I don't know the solution, but I can see what the problem is. Okay. Like, I can explain why there are issues, but I cannot solve it. So can you make sense of each person's yes, anger? Yes, I can. Okay. And I can even mind my perspective, and I can see how that would clash with the other person's, but being aware sometimes doesn't give you a solution. So are you one of the people that's trying to fuel the fire or one of the people that's trying to put out the fire? Uh, I think I did a bit of both. I'm not going to lie. Like, if my feelings were caught, I'm more, I was, in my, I was sensitive as well. Because if you're sensitive, you're not, you're not, you're not, you, you're biased, mm. even if your sensitivity is built on something right. Mm. So I was sensitive at some point as well, and okay. obviously seeing my stance, and maybe not caring enough how that would be approached, and then, yeah, and then that person doesn't really listen to what I've said, and is now focusing on how I said it, and, then, uh, and we're all doing the same thing and all that. So I just wish that it ended in a way where, like, you know, there was peace, or, but there wasn't, so I don't know. Alrighty. Um, well, cool. I asked this question because um, when it comes to dispute resolution, you have to know how to be the diplomatic one, especially mm, yeah. when you're the one that sees where the problems yeah, are. Yeah. So you should be the one to prefer a solution and not trying. But to don't make you think it. that there's just some personalities that are not interested? Because I think that's what's happening. I don't think there's. Everyone. I think they're not. They just don't see it from your angle. No, I, know, you I would can... say they're not interested in 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 finding peace and settling. It seems like everybody would rather. Be at war. Yeah, I feel like that's what's well, happening. Well, love is war. So, moving on. Can Move we, on. Can, Absolutely. Can, Absolutely. We, can we just leave your Ooh. issues out of it? Because it's about to be Friday. And you know what Friday yeah. is for us. We love to turn up. And some people love to do Netflix. It's all right. I but know. whatever you love to do, just okay. do your thing. Enjoy your weekend. But um, before you, we go into the weekend mood, can we just discuss a few stories and dissect them? Are you guys ready? Yeah. You're ready, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so Timini, pop, um, Timini, yeah, popular actor, has taken to social media to call for a nationwide lockdown on Valentine's Day. For the actor, there should be a nationwide 24-hour lockdown on February 14th as a way of preventing a foreseeable exponential spread of COVID-19 since a lot of lovers will be hanging out with their partners all over the country. In his words, we need a full national 24-hour lockdown on valentine's day this thing don't they spread too much what y'all say i think we have we need a lockdown period <laughs> <laughs> we need a lockdown and i know we can't really afford that i i, I feel like I, the government and everyone has kind of admitted that we can't really afford that i don't even think people have fully recovered from mm. from the from the last one and i think even with december you can see that the level of crime kind of increased because we can actually afford it but if not because our leaders are too mm -hmm. greedy not to share the palliative well there's definitely that i heard that they're sharing five thousand though 
back out <laughs> Now we heard last time too, and mm -hmm. they said if you didn't get it there, they didn't know where you were. I want to know who's got it. Or that. maybe you Come don't on. have your BVN, blah, blah, blah. They have, have an excuses for why we did not get it. But I have everything that they said I did not have not to have gotten it. I have it. So what's this? Oh, they're excuse. Mm. So there's some people behind our 5,000 that means yes, give us our 5,000. Mm. Yes, it's yeah. ridiculous. Uh, but um, as far as this is concerned, um, I don't know if the lockdown is the solution to avoid the spread of, mm -hmm. spread of COVID-19 because I think that boredom staying at home will make you want to, uh, what's it called now, uh, mingle, if, if, I, if I'm making sense. And then you see people engaging in a lot of sexual activity. Like in the UK, I think it was three days ago that it was reported that even after the lockdown, okay. there will be an outbreak of gonorrhea in the UK. Ah, wow. Yes. <laughs> yes. And that, that's going to be the highest rate of STDs being spread after the Second World War. You know, this was... <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> not shocked, like... Hmm. I'm serious. I'm serious oh about this information uh -huh. right now. So after the lockdown, there will be an outbreak. So I think we're giving room for other things to go down <laughs> and when those other things go down they can also lead to other things you know unwanted pregnancies you know yeah stuff like that yeah and it's like you're trying to fix one problem by making another by making but covid has always been like Thank that it threatens life and living do you want to live or do you want to have a living to sustain that life mm -hmm. and it seems like you can't really have both uh okay to me to saying that valentine's day should be cancelled no, I don't think so. That it should no. be that it sh there should be a lockdown. No, you can do Valentine's Day, but do it do it in your True. house. Surprise your lover at home. Mm -hmm. Take the gift there. Just let it be bored of you. Over. I because think the, 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 the same way we've been doing it from day one, where you're just gonna be really careful with how you move around. Mm -hmm. Be really careful as how, like your face mask and all of that. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you would stop wearing condoms in COVID nineteen period. Or, like I don't <laughs> understand that aspect. You can't go out to buy. So when it finishes, oh that is not a lie. Oh you know ah. getting this to we. That is, so, uh, uh, supermarkets have never, ever, really fast with using. Ah, big, ah, big. The same way you drink ah, your milk big. is not the same way you use your condoms. It's whatever. <laughs> As you're going to buy the milk, buy condoms. Thank you. Immediately. Uh, please, on none of that. So I think there should be more caution to that. Do you know how they say milk finishes before Milo? All the time. You really can't explain how that happens. Have you noticed? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, I do. Right, that's the agree. same way I think a condom will finish before your milk. What are you doing? Are you doing a... Ma Buy enough. Buy enough. Buy two cartons. Nobody plans to be. Nobody plans to be that way. If you're going to be finishing it before the milk runs out, buy enough of it. Just be more careful. I think this is when um, the NCDC needs to go really ham on restaurants. Mm -hmm. Make sure that they actually follow those protocols. Make sure it's half capacity and they mean half capacities. Mm -hmm. The cinemas to put a space in between. Mm -hmm. Because I know that they're going to be tempted to want to make more sales because people are out there so they want to mm -hmm. pack everybody in. But I feel like this is the time where you really need to do the opposite. Okay. Allow, and not allow space for a crowd. If you can do all of that, I think people can still. I was really guys. impressed at a restaurant in, um, somewhere in Lekki, you know. I, even though I was starving and that was why I stopped there and it was really late at night okay. yeah it was really i think it was like past one they're about 1 a.m mm -hmm. and then i stopped there and they said no not more than 15 people you know like naked people are night scholars mm -hmm. normally so they're not more than 15 people at once and as much as i was starving i was mm -hmm. like nice mm -hmm. do you understand because that's a welcome there was no you can't see it you can't do it. your face mask had to be on they had the the, they, they could check your temperature, they could, um, okay. you know, they would sanitize. And I was like, yeah, way to go, people. So some people are actually observing it, but it's not everywhere. Sure. And since it's not everywhere, it will give room to a lot of spread because a lot mm -hmm. of guys who want to do table for two, you know, and all that stuff. So I believe restaurants will be filled up, hotels will be filled up, sure. you know, venues will be filled up on Valentine's Day. So I kind of agree with Timini. Yeah, but did you see the comments um, over the statement from it's from fans? They were like, Timini, your plan will not work. What do you mean? What you, like we can't go out but no we stand in the COVID-19 is still outside it, no matter how, how much you want to enjoy with your loved ones and everything I still feel you can still have a very wonderful Valentine's Day without you going out mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. even, to me it's even more intimate when you stay at home I, I, I agree I think it's time to get really creative do mm, a picnic nice. like shift all your furniture do like a fort all the know, lights use candles better all of that stuff and I think people kind depending of depending on that. where you live though 
Um, if well, you cannot well, uh, move furniture, you should not be practicing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you that you can't move furniture? I don't, mm. think, I don't think Valentine's Day is your problem. I think that day you can yeah. go bigger a, house. A bigger place. Easier so, problem. You need to go and be hustling a bit more. No Valentine's Day for you, sir. If you cannot mm -hmm. shift oh, furniture. Alrighty, yes. Mm -hmm. It's the weekend, yes. Or oh, we're getting into the weekend. I feel like it's the weekend already. Do you feel that way? I know. Mm, I feel that sort way of, this yeah. morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of feel that. I feel like my Friday has started. So my litiness yeah. is going to start from today. So.